We learned how to use sine law to solve for a missing side or a missing angle in a triangle that is not a right triangle. Behind me are two examples of non-right triangles where you cannot use sine law. With sine law, you always know at least one side angle opposite pair. A side angle opposite pair would be knowing both side A and angle A opposite to it, or knowing both side B and angle B. If you look at these situations, we know all three sides in this triangle, but we don't know any of the angles. We cannot use sine law because if we tried plugging this situation into sine law, we would have two unknowns. In this situation where you know two sides and the included angle and wish to find the missing third side, we also do not have a side angle opposite pair. If we plug this situation into sine law, we will have two unknowns. Because of this, we need a fifth formula to help us solve these type of triangles and that formula is called cosine law. Let's review the rules for labeling triangles. In triangles, a lowercase letter is used to designate a side, and a capital letter is used to designate an angle. Furthermore, usually, if you are calling this angle A, then this opposite side will be lowercase a. The angle and its opposite side will share the same letter. So if I want to label this angle B, that means this would be side B. We will use this convention very often when we apply sine law and cosine law. The cosine law formula looks like this. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. Your unknown will always be either side A or angle A. Remember, that your calculator has to be in degree mode whenever you do trigonometry. To get this type of calculator in degree mode, you press the mode button and 4. In example 1, we have a triangle that is not right, that has sides of 6, 7, and 9 units in length. And we'd like to know the measure of this angle theta. The first thing we have to do is label the triangle. Since A or capital A are always the unknowns when we use cosine law, we will call angle theta A. That means the 9 is side A. It doesn't matter which of these two sides we call B and which we call C. Now we can fill in our formula. A squared means 9 squared equals B squared, which is 6 squared plus c squared, which is 7 squared, minus 2bc means minus 2 times 6 times 7, cos a, and we're ready to simplify. Simplifying, 9 squared is 81, equals 6 squared, 36, plus 7 squared, 49, minus 2 times 6 times 7, which is 84, cos a. Remember, 84 cos a is like 84x in polynomials. It is not similar terms with numbers like 49 or 36. So to simplify this further, we have to move the 36 and the 49 to the other side of the equal sign. Moving them means they both become negative. The minus 84 cos a is still here on the right of the equal sign. 81 minus 36 minus 49 is equal to negative 4. Now, since our variable is being multiplied by a negative 84, we have to divide both sides of the equation by negative 84. These ones will cancel. Negative 4 divided by negative 84 is equal to 0. 0 0.0476 0 0.0476 replaces this division in our formula and we know it is equal to cos a but what is angle a? The inverse cosine of 0 0.0476 is found by pressing shift cos and is equal to 87.2706 degrees. 
Therefore, angle A is equal to 87.2706 degrees. Don't forget the degrees. That is your unit of measure. In example two, we have a side that is 58 units long, another side that is 70 units long, and an included 15 degree angle. We would like to know the measure of the side opposite that angle. First, we have to label our triangle. Since our unknown side is over here, we have to call that A. That means the 15 degree angle is our angle A. It doesn't matter which of these we call B or C. And we fill in our formula like this. A squared is equal to 58 squared plus 70 squared minus 2 times 58 times 70 times the cos of 15 degrees. Fifty-eight squared is equal to three thousand three hundred and sixty-four. Seventy squared is equal to forty-nine hundred. Two times fifty-eight times seventy is equal to eight thousand one hundred and twenty. The cos of fifteen degrees. It's found by entering 15 in the calculator and hitting the cosine button, and is equal to 0 0.9659. Replacing these values in our formula, we have a squared is equal to 3346 plus 4900 minus 8120 times the cos of 15 degrees, which is 0 0.9659. Now we just have to simplify. 3,364 plus 4,900 minus 8,120 times the cos of 15 degrees is equal to 420.6823. The square root of 420.6823 is equal to 20.5105. A squared is equal to 420.6823 doing a square root, that means A is equal to 20.5105. We have the length of our missing side. Now that you know how to use cosine law, you will take an exercise sheet like this one to practice with. There are eight examples on the exercise sheet. Half of them have an unknown angle, and half of them have an unknown side. Therefore, example one will be a model to help you do half of the questions on this sheet, and example two will be a model for the rest. 